Hi everyone, your local hipster here, and it's time for a review of the new Katie Gately album, Loom. Katie Gately is a musician, producer, and sound designer based out of Los Angeles, and Loom is her second album. I actually did not know about her up until this point. I was kind of strolling around Album of the Year, and I checked out one of her albums just by chance. A really interesting album art kind of jumped out at me. It's just this kind of dirty, vacant building. Seems a little dilapidated. And it wasn't that long of a project. It's eight tracks, 41 minutes. I did come to find out that she released an album in 2016 titled Color. She described that album as deployed fractured rhythms, fierce licks, bold samples, and her signature paint box pop hooks. She also takes the chance to describe this album as Loom reveals more crepuscular textures. Her voice is more forward in the mix and densely layered in choral laments above a coarse foundation of hard and brittle sound design. I was gonna go in depth describing as broadly as possible what this album is. However, I think Katie really sums it up nicely in this paragraph. She does say further on in this about section on her website that this album is actually dedicated to her mother that unfortunately passed away. And this album is actually centered around the track Eraser, which is the 10 minute centerpiece of the record. I also find it very endearing that she actually worked on the other songs with this one song in mind because her mother loved this song so much. She put another project on hold that she was near the completion of just to work on this album. Now I do like a heartfelt story attached to an album or a very sad story attached to an album. However, it all comes down to the music on this album. Is the music on this album good? I would say so. A lot of the production on this record is dense layered, cacophonous, heavy, and a very fitting title because a lot of the sounds on this record are very looming, with tracks like Alley and Waltz having these very grand builds to these amazing crescendos. The 10 minute track Bracer shows how bold and courageous Katie can be on a song, as this track constantly builds and builds and builds until the final moments of this song where it's just this tortured soundscape is a harsh but lush, dense wall of sound that ends the song off so spectacularly. As a centerpiece for the record, it is a really good centerpiece. I would like it maybe if it was at the end of the record, or maybe if we had a more explosive cut at the end of the record. Which does lead me to my main criticism with this album, is that sometimes some of the songs on this record could kind of be hit or miss for me, especially with the three interlude cuts, Ritual, Right, and Rest, which are two minute spacious ambient cuts that sometimes have a vocal snippet from Katie. They're fine, I don't mind them, but sometimes they can break up the flow of this record, especially the track Right, which is after three large cuts. It just kind of feels like a breather moment, but I didn't really need a breather moment on this record. I think book ending this album isn't that bad with the ambient cuts, but for me personally, having it in the middle of this record kind of stagnates the project a little bit. Things do pick up with the next two tracks, Tower and Flow. The former of the two follow the same pattern that Ale and Waltz had, you start off with a very simplistic instrumental palette, but then it just gets bigger, more grander. In this case, it's a kick drum, which builds and then it kind of collapses, and then you get Katie singing. Throughout this entire record, whenever Katie does sing, her vocals are amazing. Not a single moment on this record I'm looking at and saying, yeah, the vocals need to change, because I think the vocals on all of these songs, at least all the songs that have the vocals, are really good. On pitch, very natural as well. The only time there's an effect added on is onto the track Flow, but really that song is an effect embodied. It has a hazy reverb aesthetic to it. However, this song is a highlight on this record. From the cacophonous soundscapes on a lot of these songs to the bold crescendos on Bracer, Waltz, Alley, in the first couple moments of Flow. These soundscapes have some of the most grand presentations in ambient music I've heard in some time. And I think adding just a human element to these ambient soundscapes adds so much character to- I'm not saying Katie is the first person to do this kind of thing. However, I love the way her vocals are laid across this album and on top of these instrumentals. They feel like they're actually worked in and not just kind of placed on top. So I like most of the songs on this record, and I don't really mind the interlude tracks, but what's really holding me back from loving this project 
are that the songs don't really coalesce into anything more meaningful. In another way, these songs aren't greater than the sum of their parts. It kind of feels like I'm listening to songs on their own rather than an entire album. That's probably one of my other major complaints with this record is that the flow of this record can be a little iffy. I do like the gargantuan soundscapes on a lot of these songs, but if they don't really have much of a flow or if this album doesn't have much of a direction, it kind of just feels like nice songs and that's about it. For me personally, I do like the album experience. I do like when songs add up in the best of ways. And a song can be good on their own, but also work way better in the context of the record too. Unfortunately for Katie, that doesn't seem to be the case on this record. However, I still like this project. And I still think Katie has a lot of room to grow. Definitely an artist to look out for in the future. I would love to see her get a little more ambitious. I'd also love to see her hone in on these gargantuan soundscapes while also having at least somewhat of a running theme or at least have songs be greater than the sum of their parts as an entire album experience. I can easily envision her making a very enjoyable hour long ambient masterpiece. But as of now, I'm liking this record. I have hope for Katie in the future, but I'm not loving everything on this record. Still a very worthy mention, nonetheless. A very strong B, but that's my opinion, and I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below? Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below, and remember, this is only my opinion, because music is subjective.